Howdy, folks. It's the Creepy Kentuckian. And I'm Uncle Bill. Hi. We got a little watch along for you guys today. Now, thanks to Steve, we're not going to actually get to see the trailer on here. <laughs> Fuck you, Steve. We hate you. It's, it's so killer. Yeah, thanks, Steve. But we are going to do a watch along. And I'll link the trailer in the description so you guys can watch along with us. Um, it's kind of like a little bit delayed because I was assuming this movie was going to come out like April, May uh, in theaters. And we're talking about Ty West's prequel to the movie X. It is Pearl starring Mia Goth, who was also an X. So I guess the final trailer is two minutes and 20 seconds. Debut just earlier tonight. Hell yeah. She did a really good job in that movie too. That's actually like one of my favorite movies from last year. This year? Yeah, this year, I guess. I enjoyed it as well, man. It's nothing groundbreaking or anything, but Ty West, man, like he's, I've always thought he was a good filmmaker. I mean, yeah. his shit looks good. He hit everything in all cylinders with X. This should be interesting, though, because, you know, we knew after we watched uh, the first film that there was already a prequel that, you know, that was being made or had been made. Was it already made? At that point. The version that we had, Anthony hooked us up with digital copy. The digital copy did not have the preview trailer at the end. If you went to the theaters to see it and you stayed past the credits and everything, it did show like a sneak peek of Pearl. And that was a complete surprise to everybody. Nobody knew. Evidently, he had filmed these movies back to back. Yeah. But nobody, aside from the cast and crew members, really knew that it was coming. So it's a pretty amazing thing that um, he secretly made this movie. And by all accounts, people were saying it's going to be even better than X. We'll have to see. We're going to do a little watch along here and do a countdown. And uh, are you ready, Uncle Bill? I'm getting my earplugs in. I'm ready. Right. I am ready for Freddy. All right, so on three, two, one. This is from A24 Studios, Uncle Bill. Turn that shit down, damn. Nah. She wants to be the biggest star the world has ever known. <laughs> uh huh. She's just going to help him along there, is what it is. So what time frame is this, like 30s? Looks like it, 20s, 30s. Oh, she's uh, got the X factor. Huh? Yeah. She's got everything she ever wanted. She'll never get that back. <laughs> Now that is how you make a trailer. That actually looks kind of intriguing. Something that really hasn't, I mean, has that era been done very much in horror at all? Not like that. I mean, because like that is just, 
just the way that they filmed it and everything where it's kind of like looks like old looney tunes cartoon the colors and everything is like you know it's it's something different it's at least like you said it's intriguing it's interesting uh, it looks gory and violent which is always a good brutal thing it looks brutal and badass badass and brutal that's why yeah. old carly likes it i think it i'm looks looking good. forward to it mia yeah. goth is is interesting to watch as well she's not your typical movie star look for sure. So, and I, there's something about, I don't know what it is. Cause I was thinking about, um, Anya Taylor joy. Um, Oh yeah. Which she is not your typical, like, and, and I think Mia Goth's the same way, not your typical, like movie star, like a beauty. I mean, I, to me, I think they're both attractive, but, not what would be like the the prototype prototype for you know bombshell or whatever i just can't hear the word prototype that thing about john cena <laughs> big match yeah um but no i agree with you like like you know her being in uh oh god how did i forget the name of that film already um last what? night in soho and all that like i mean she just doesn't look she doesn't look like your typical, you know, leading lady or whatever, but there's something about her that's intriguing, interesting to, to look at. And same thing with, with her, with me, Goth, like you were saying, like, it's charisma, I guess. That's what it's got to be, like, just the yeah, natural she's kind of charisma. Got a unique look. Both of them have a unique look. Yeah. For sure. So that one, um, man, we've been following Ty West's career for a long time. Like... House of the Devil was what year was that? 20, 2009, 2010, something like something that. Something like that. Like maybe even earlier. I don't know. So I'm he's still... been doing, yeah, he's been doing weird, like period style movies, like since day one, pretty much. So this is a different time frame than anything he'd ever done before. And the look of it looks really cool. It'll be interesting to see if this is going to get a wide release, like X did have pretty much a wide theatrical Yeah, for run. what it was, yeah. Um, And I'm not sure exactly when the, I'm guessing sometime this fall, they're wanting to bring it out. That'll be interesting. I think it looks really intriguing, like I said. So um, let us know, guys, what you all thought. We want to know what you thought, brother. Brother. All you radishes out there, dude. Tell us what you think. So, yeah, thank you guys for checking this out, and we will catch you all next time on DeadPit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime. That dead pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do it. I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. For this video officially, and it's Oak Curly Jaws has a message for it. Go on over to shop.deadpit.com and go look at their Teen Public store right now. You've got some new shirts like the Oak Curly Jaws official t shirt, which is brutal and badass. You got the Gummy Gummy shirt with the captain himself on the shirt. The people, you got Uncle Bill's face on a fucking shirt. You got the Final Girl shirt. You got all these shirts over at Chop. Dot deadpit.com get them before they're all out especially the new one bedtime 1039 it doesn't get better than that so go on out check out these shirts at shop.deadpit.com go look at their team public store you're gonna have a good old time get them all thank you to all of our supporters on patreon dead pit on patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tiers start at only $1.